Hi, everyone. My name is Angie Avery, and I'm the Executive Officer of the Sierra Nevada Conservancy. We're here today because while our offices may be closed, the Sierra Nevada Conservancy remains open for business. I'm here today in a web meeting with our grants, field operations, and policy and outreach managers. Like most Californians, COVID-19 has meant changes for us and as we adjust to new routines, both at work and in our daily lives. The biggest change is what you're looking at now. We've tempor temporarily moved from a brick and mortar office to working from home in virtual meeting rooms like this one. Teleworking tools are allowing us to stay in close contact, <clears throat> excuse me, with state leadership and the public and private partners and each other um, as we do our daily work. And as you'll hear, they followed the SNC, they've allowed the SNC to continue its core functions. Shannon, you wanna start us off? Sure, grants and reimbursements has been going full steam ahead. We've spent the last week drafting grant agreements and amendments, processing invoices and reports, and preparing recommendations for grant awards at our next board meeting in June. One change we've made is that SNC can now accept digital signatures, which should make things easier for our partners as well. Luke, what's happening in field operations? Well, our area representatives are hearing a lot from our partners right now, both normal business questions and now new concerns and requests for help since SNC is some of the state's eyes and ears on the ground. I'm glad we can help and we're always looking for ways to do more. How about you, Britt? Well, most of our policy and outreach team is used to sitting within about 30 feet of each other. So um, we're really relying on these new tools like chat and instant message to stay connected. We're continuing to track legislation and that might impact our region. And we're also trying to stay present in different policy discussions. We're also helping to make sure that our partners have access to reliable state guidance about COVID-19 and that their voices are heard by state leadership during this extraordinary time. Angie, back to you. Thanks everyone. And to our partners in the Sierra Nevada and throughout the state, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. All of our normal channels of communication remain open and our work together continues while we all stay at home and help flatten the curve. Thanks everyone.